Tonight, a state lawmaker from Memphis is sharing his personal story about bullying. Representative Antonio Parkinson shared last night on our news that he was bullied so badly as a teenager, he actually brought a gun to school one time. And tonight, he's giving some advice to kids who are being bullied like he was, as well as the bullies themselves. Here's Rebecca Butcher. State Representative Antonio Parkinson was handcuffed and taken to jail at the age of 14 after dealing with bullies for nearly a year at his high school. When the teachers wouldn't interfere, he brought a gun to school to deal with the situation himself. I had to really, really catch myself and pull myself back because now I, it, I understood the power of a gun, number one, at this time, and, and I understood the power of having this power over these individuals now. Parkinson learned the power of a gun can be intoxicating. That's how, you know, these bullies are created because somebody did something to them. And then they in turn did it to someone else. This past Sunday in Frazier, a teen who shot another juvenile told police he was being bullied and about to get jumped by a group of four. Parkinson explains bullies often threaten others after first feeling powerless themselves and the victims are provoked. I was in survival mode. I think we had just we'd been homeless at it for a minute during that time and and you know, then we're dealing with this and you know, and trying to keep your grades up and trying to you know, trying to play sports and, you know, and trying to hide it all, mm -hmm. right, at the same time. Anything at that time could have been a trigger to, to pull the trigger. Yeah, so with today's generation, what would you say to those being bullied and the bullies themselves? Try to find an adult, you know, to, to get the information to. To the bullies, to the ones that are out there doing that, let me caution you because you just don't know where a person's mind is at that time when you're doing what you're doing. And it could cost you your life. In Memphis, I'm Rebecca Butcher.